Unified authentication. So in Process Maker 4.1, um, we have lots of packages, lots of functionality that you can add. Um, and what we did is we looked at kind of what were the different scenarios that were being built both by you guys and by professional services. And we took a step back and we thought, could we do authentication better? So what we did is we really tried to unify it because what it turns out being is that a lot of these scenarios um, for our configurations all have similar things. So for example, here's LDAP. Um, I can go in, set a synchronization schedule, my process will go out, I can send certificates, active directory support, all that kind of stuff we built in in a unified way. So with LDAP, we have SCIM, when SCIM is turned on, you get all kinds of URLs and things that allow your systems to talk to Process Maker. The third piece that we added was single sign-on. So obviously we unified things, no longer do you need to involve cloud ops or install packages. Um, this allows you to configure a bunch of different solutions out of the box. So in this scenario, see we have, um, this is our JIRA guys at Atlassian, Auth0, Facebook, GitHub. Uh, you just trigger the switch, go in, answer the questions that, that are related to it. And again, all these things are found when you do it for the system. So in this case, Facebook, uh, you see I have some IDs here. I hope that's not somebody's Facebook that you guys can all use, um, but it will authenticate our application against that service and allow people to log in uh, using that button from the sign-in screen. Um, so that's, that's, that's a good one, authenticated, unified authentication.